Good morning, preschool friends. Well, happy Wednesday. This is our morning meeting for Wednesday. We're going to start with our nice stretches. Ready? One arm behind your back. Give yourself a little pat in the back. Good job for waking up today. Being ready. Stretch the other one. All right. One leg over the other. One leg over the other. One leg over the other. Give yourself a hug. All right, stretch those shoulders. Put your hands together. And um, this reminds me of a shark's um, fin on the top, the dorsal fin. I believe it's a dorsal fin. Maybe we'll find out. We're going to learn a little bit about sharks today. And uh, we're going to do some more stuff about sharks tomorrow. And we're going to have some water fun play on Friday, which I think we can kind of include things with the sharks there too. All right, we're going to blow up our balloon. Think about all you want to do today. What you would like to feel and um, kind of experience today. And let it go. Let's see what the day brings. All right, so we're going to read this informational book about sharks. Okay. And there, this is on Epic, uh, where you can read tons of different books. This one's about sharks, but they have other animals, too, if you want to delve in, dive in to all these different animals. All right, so I'm going to read this to you. I hope you enjoy it. You can see this is called a table of contents. So let's say you want to learn about something um, specific. That means like just like this one thing. Well, there's different parts that you can learn about. We're going to read the whole thing. But it says, let's learn about sharks. Um, I can't read it. Oh, shark bodies. Do you remember? What does a shark eat? And it says, do you remember? I think those are like going to be like questions. Shark babies, your favorite thing. And then there's some, at the end, some answers and even some um, words, informational words. Okay. My favorite animals are sharks. Would you like to learn about them? I hope you guys said yes. If you said no, I don't know what to say. Um, maybe, you know, a lot of times we think sharks, they're, they're pretty, they're pretty fierce. They've got these big teeth and they're, they like to eat meat and they have to hunt their food. Um, but I think the most important thing about like all animals is it's, in, it's good to learn about them and understand why they live the way they live and what, how, what they do to survive. It's very important. You see this shark and it's got like other sharks or other fish on it. Let's see. More than 500 known species of sharks live in many different parts of the oceans all over the world. Sharks belong to a family of fish that have skeletons made of cartilage. So cartilage, if you feel your ear, you feel like you can bend your ear. This is different than the bones or the bones here. This is cartilage. This is what they are made of. They beat, breathe through gills on either side of their bodies near their head. Sharks lose their teeth often. Thankfully, they have several rows of teeth that continue to grow. So we lose our teeth once and then you have adult teeth that grow. They always are, learn, are losing teeth and getting new ones. Now, the upper side of the shark is dark, and the underside is light. Anyone guess why? If you think about which way you're looking at a shark, the way they can be camouflaged from predators, orca whales, and prey from both above and below. So when you look at a shark from above, the dark upper side blends in with the bottom part of the sea. When you look at them from below, if you're on the sea and you look up, it blends with the light, uh, with the light closer to the surface of the water. Now, the whale shark is the largest shark. I know this is one of our friends Connor's. That's his like favorite animal, I believe one of the favorite animals. It measures about 500 feet long. While most sharks live about 20 to 30 years, both um, of these sharks, I'm going to tell about another shark, live over 100 years. And the smallest shark is the spined pygmy shark. It measures only about seven to eight inches long, and it is found in the deep sea. That's about the size 
of my hand if you went across. I could hold that shark in my hand. And they live deep, deep, deep down in the sea. Very interesting. Okay, here's a little question. Do you remember who is the shark's predator? That means what is going to eat a shark? I'm trying to think about what it is. I know what it is, but I want to say. Now the answer is going to be at the end of the book. What predator? What what is a predator for a shark? Ooh, here's a hammerhead shark. Most sharks eat things like fish, mollusks, crustaceans, krill, plankton, marine animals, and even other sharks. All right, so mollusks are like the clams. Pardon me if I'm not completely correct. Crustaceans are like the crab and the and lobsters and things like that have a harder shell. Now, uh, sharks also have an excellent sense of smell. They can detect blood in the water for miles away. That'd be like if you had a scratch and you fell or something, I could smell your blood, oh my gosh, from miles away. Hopefully that's not too creepy. Anyway, they can tell which direction a scent is coming from by which nostril picks it up first. So they smell it over here. Oh, it must be that way. That must be where my food is. Okay. Ooh, the great white sharks, mako sharks, and tiger sharks, and hammerhead sharks, and blue sharks are apex predators. I don't know what that means. Let's find out. They are at or near the top of the marine food chain. That means there's not a lot of other animals that eat it. But they eat everything else. Now, some sharks live, like the great white shark, uh, will sneak up and attack their prey from below. You see how it's coming up like that. They usually eat seals and sea lions. Well, that would make sense that they have to come from below because seals and sea lions are going to be swimming, but not be like, they're going to be pretty close to the surface so they can breathe. Now, other species of sharks attack schools of fish in a feeding frenzy. Now, a school of fish is like many, many, many fish all swimming together. And then they just kind of go and try to get as much as they can. Maybe like if you took your hand in a bowl of popcorn and you just snatch as much popcorn as you can, but they do that with fish. Now, while sharks, oh, excuse me, whale sharks and basking sharks swim through the ocean with their mouths open wide, filtering plankton and krill through their mouths. Krill is almost like tiny little shrimp. So they just go like this and wait for the food to come to them. Oh my goodness, such is the life. Okay, here's another question. Do you remember from what we just read Sharks have an excellent sense of what? Give a little clue there to remember how they can find blood. Oh my goodness. Okay, we'll find out the end, the answer. Some shark species, remember there's 500 of them. Some shark species, like the hammerhead, are very social. That means they like to be together with others, other sharks other hammerheads. They gather in groups of more than 100. All the hammer, hammerhead sharks are just hanging out together. However, if a shark is approached too closely and it feels threatened, it feels like it's not safe, and it will change its behavior by exaggerating its movements. Instead of going like this, it'll be like, oh, oh, whoa, whoa, making bigger movements, trying to tell whatever's nearby, like you don't want to mess with me because you don't know what I'm going to be doing. All right, most sharks hunt at night. They are most active when it's dark. So they are, I wouldn't say nocturnal, they just like to hunt at night. Probably because it's darker, so it's hard to see the shark coming up. Oh, this is a shark pup. That's a baby shark. Shark pup are born with a full set of teeth. They swim away from their mothers immediately after they're born, and they're able to feed and live on their own right away. Wow. So when we're born, we have to have someone take care of us, and we definitely don't have teeth. So we have to wait until we get teeth and we get taken care of, and we can't just walk away or swim away, can we? 
the fish, the sharks right away. Bye, Mom. Thanks for, for life. And then they go off. <laughs> All right, let's see. Sharks are very interesting, aren't they? Some, some sharks, it's hard to say, some sharks, some sharks migrate over an entire ocean to feed and breed. Where migrate means like to move. A lot of animals might migrate um, when it's colder, but they, they move, they migrate because they need to find food. And if it's too cold to find their food, they move somewhere else. So sharks do a similar thing. They migrate over an entire ocean to feed and breed. Breed means like to have shark pups. All right, do you remember from what we just read? What does a shark do when it feels threatened? Or when it feels scared or nervous, like something's going on? What does it do? All right, sharks have roamed the seas for 400 million years at or near the top of the marine food chain. Wow. So they've been around for a long time and they've been kind of up in the food chain. That means they get to eat a whole lot of different things. And that's probably good. They have a lot of things to choose from. So that's why they survive. What is your favorite thing about sharks? Oh my gosh. I would love to hear what your favorite thing is about sharks. Now you can share it with me or you can share it with your family. You could draw a picture of your favorite thing about sharks. I have to think about it. I, hmm, I have to think about it. What is your favorite thing about sharks? Hmm. You know, I, I think, I just think it's interesting that um, the hammerhead sharks like to swim together. Because usually I think of a shark as just living by themselves. But I like that they're social, that they like to be around each other. That is pretty interesting to me. That also means I could draw a picture and have tons of sharks. They get a big shark party. Okay, these, this is the glossary I was talking to you about. And these are some words that we might have learned, okay? Apex means the top. So you could just say, Mom, can you reach um, that bowl? It's at the apex. It's on top, on the top of the shelf. You could use that word like that. Okay, um, cartilage, you know, that's that firm tissue, not like a Kleenex tissue, but like firm tissue that supports a body but is not bone. So you have it in your ears and you have it in your nose, at the edge of the nose, you can bend. Okay, so that I think it also helps the stars kind of move around like that. The food chain. Okay, a chain is usually something that's linked together or like a necklace, but this is what a food chain is, a series of plants and animals that are dependent. That means they need each other on the necks as a source of food. Okay, so maybe, I'll, well, maybe we can even do that tomorrow when we talk about sharks and showing a food chain. A food chain is more like, um, here's the shark and here are the things it eats. And then here are the things that those things eat, like the plants and stuff like that. So um, we'll look at that and see. Okay, migrate means to move across a large space. Okay, prey are animals that are eaten by other animals. Remember, there's one thing that um, eats a shark. We're gonna remember that in that question. Okay, and then pups is a new is a name for a baby shark. Okay, did you remember the questions? The first one was about what animal is a shark's predator? Do you remember what that was? It's an orca, an orca's whale. Okay, what is the sense that a shark uses? So I'm trying to remember the question. It was about using the sense um, to find something, to find blood. Was it sense of smell? I remember it could smell blood and then they can find the food it needs. What does a shark do? This is the third question. What does a shark do when it's feeling, uh, what was the word? Um, like scared and feeling uncomfortable. And I can't remember the word that was. It exaggerates his movements. Okay, so it doesn't just kind of go quietly. It goes, <laughs> it thrashes about. All right, preschool friend, I love those pictures of the shark teeth. I know some of you guys have seen and touched, may even have your own collection of shark teeth. Pretty cool things. Well, that is the end of our morning meeting. And if you remember, like you can draw a picture of 
your favorite thing that you learned about sharks. You could also um, send me any questions you have about sharks and then we can learn about it together when we meet together, okay? Um, tomorrow um, in the afternoon, we'll do a whole shark hour. Okay, there is a TV show that has a shark week. We're doing the shark hour. Um, also, if you um, even want to draw a food chain of what, we're going to do that too. We'll have like a shark and see what the shark has. I'm going to um, look for some things or you, we'll, we'll draw about that. So I'll send more information about that too. Um, basically, when we meet about sharks tomorrow, you can bring some markers and some pencils or some crayons and some paper so we can do some fun things with sharks. All right, preschool friends, have a, have a happy Wednesday. Uh, I was going to say look out for sharks, but we're not by the ocean, so um, we're not by big bodies of water. Anyway, I will see you soon. Have a great Wednesday.